Hi, I'm Lucy James, and I listen to the One Up Gaming Podcast. Up next on the One Up Gaming Podcast is 10 minutes of nothing. Will it be the team talking about nothing or a guest interview? Stick around and find out now. It's 10 minutes of nothing. Yeah, 10 minutes of nothing. Well, we're going to go through this week's uh, one game podcast, the 10 minutes of nothing for episode 410. So for this week's episode, I'm going to go through um, Deadpool and Wolverine talking about some of the cameos, some of the story beats, some bits and bobs like that. Um, so yeah, sponsored by Games Inspired Music this week, as always. So buy it, stream it, um, rent it. I don't even rent it, do not. But yeah, um, Google it, search it. Go into the Apple Store, go onto the Amazon, all that good stuff. And twenty percent of each will go to the Child's Play charity. Um, so we often get sent games to give away. I think we've got some Switch games to give away at the moment. So we normally have PC. PlayStation, Xbox and Switch stuff to give away. So all you need to do is just subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave a comment just saying as an example Switch. And I will make sure that you've followed those instructions and then I will email you and we'll get into you know see what games we can give out to you. So yeah, so I guess we'll go into the 10 minutes of nothing uh, for this week. So if you don't know 10 minutes of nothing, I have 10 minutes to talk about a certain topic and then the timer will start, oh well, the timer will end, and then, you know, that's when uh, we have to stop talking about it and we'll end the show. So I guess we'll start the timer now. So 10 minutes is starting, so this is Deadpool and Wolverine. If you don't want to know any of these spoilers, please skip this show and come back once you've seen the movie. I'm going to talk 10 minutes of, of this. So, yeah. So if anyone doesn't know, Deadpool and Wolverine is the first time that Wol- uh, Deadpool has appeared in the MCU. Uh, it's basically Deadpool 3. He is depressed. He's not a hero anymore. He's just going to work. All that stuff. And then the timey people I've completely blanked on their names do, 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 do. oh god the some and the TVA that's the ones isn't it uh, yeah TVA is it's not I can't even read it on here so um, the TVA come um, abduct him he kills a shit ton of them he finds out that his world's dying because Wolverine Logan died at the end of Logan and he doesn't believe it because he doesn't think that's how healing regenerative powers work so he nuts the main guy at the TV here grabs his time thing and goes to the future to when Logan is dead he digs up and then he has a conversation with an adamantium skeleton. And then the TVA people turn up again. And he kills all of them using bits of um, adamantium skeleton as a weapons. And then eventually puts on his wolverine claws and he kills people with the wolverine claws. And that's how this movie starts. It starts with him completely desecrating wolverine's corpse. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, I guess we will go into some of the people who appear in the movie. Uh, We have Happy Hogan. When Deadpool goes to the main timeline of the sacred timeline, I think they call it, of Marvel, uh, of the MCU. And he's saying he wants to become an Avenger. And Happy Hogan's like, you're not going to be an Avenger, you're not. Um, so he doesn't get his news he wants. So he goes back. Um, and then he starts. 
he has the idea of if I can nick a Wolverine from another timeline, uh, another dimension, then I can bring him back to ours and save us. So he, there's a montage of going back through looking for other Wolverines. First one is a comic book accurate size Wolverine, and he jumps off a stool and he's tiny, which is quite funny. Uh, goes through, looks at Patch, goes through Old Man Logan, um, and then he finds a Wolverine that's dressed in the brown suit, and he's just about to fight the Hulk, but then the Hulk smashes Deadpool into a tree, and then he disappears. Um, then they find the, the Wolverine that he finds, and he grabs him and brings him back. Um... TVA people don't like the idea, so they send them all to the void, to the planet of desert wasteland. They find um, who Deadpool thinks is Captain America, but it's actually Johnny Storm. And then they get him killed quite quickly. Um, Sabretooth, the original Sabretooth from the old movies with Tyler Mayne. Um, they have a big fight, which lasts like three seconds and he gets his head cut off so that didn't last long and um, there's a load of other mutants um, so you have like the juggernaut you have uh, Todd, Lady Deathstrike uh, Azil, uh, Callisto uh, Psylocke it's Psylocke or Psylocke, I can't remember. Um, you have Cassandra Nova, the main bad guy. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else there was. There was loads of like little cameo people in. Um, no, that's all I can really think of at this moment in time. But anyway, so next up, um, they get told about some other... Um, good guy people who are trying to defeat Cassandra Nova so once they have a big fight big f in the car and get bloodied up um, they find Electra who was played by the actress who played her in the old Electra movies in the Daredevil movies uh, Jennifer Garner is it Garner? Gardner? Garner yeah um, and then onto the scene comes Blade, played by Wesley Snipes. He looks really old and really frail now. He really I don't know how old he is, but he hasn't played the character in over 20 years. Uh, he makes a joke about there's only ever been one Blade and there'll only ever be one Blade. And then Deadpool looks at the camera as if, hmm, maybe. Um, then next up we have Gambit who was my favourite person from the old cartoon series I've never been a big comic book reader in the UK it wasn't a big thing um, but Gambit was supposed to be a full feature length movie starring Channam Tatum um, but that never took off and that never happened so it's nice to see Channing Tatum play Gambit in this movie full costume he just looks a bit too beefy, a bit chunky for the for the movie, for the Gambit character. But anyway, hopefully we'll see what happens and he might get his own movie. Then there was like other move another references to the Avengers on the TVs and stuff. Uh loads of Wolverine variants, as I said, loads of Deadpool variants. Dogpool loved him. Uh, I guess it was a her. Uh then there was like oh god, what was he? The Nice pool, I think it was called. <clears throat> and Deadpool loved it when he got killed. Um, then there's loads of other Deadpool from the Deadpool car. And it was just funny. Stupid funny. Um, but yeah, it, it all basically come down to the fact that Deadpool didn't want his timeline to be destroyed. Um... Logan being the anchor that holds his um, universe together. So they went out to go look for a new Wolverine. 
yeah, it's just... It was a good movie. It, it wasn't great. It wasn't as, as massive. Oh, there was also X-23. Um, yeah. Uh, who, who was back. Who helps this Wolverine learn his true fate sort of thing. Um, but yeah. Oh, there was the Pyro. Yeah, Pyro was in it. Everyone knows Pyro's in it. Um, but yeah, it's it was a fun movie. It was uh, it was entertainment. It was gore. It was swearing. It was all that good stuff. Um, they have a really happy ending at the end. Um, basically, they get told that to save the day, they have to destroy the machine. But if you destroy the machine, it'll completely disintegrate you atom by atom. So it will kill you, even if you've got these healing factors. So Wolverine was like. You've got friends and family. I'll go in and do it. I don't have anyone left. Um, I don't have a world to go back to. Uh, and then Deadpool kicks him, pushes him away, and he jumps into the room and locks the door. Does some funny things in the front of the sort of like the window. And then as he's trying to destroy the the machine, Wolverine gets in and helps. And they both destroy the machine and both survive. And then the credits. It wasn't a great um, end of, you know, the Deadpool sort of like, normally the show, like the next sort of set of movies or whatever. But this was just the fact that Deadpool went back in time to show all the stuff that um, Johnny Storm actually said about uh, Cassandra Nova. And is it Cassandra Nova? Whatever her name was. Uh, said all the horrible things that justified her killing him. And Deadpool was just saying what he was getting, what he got told. Um, it, it was a fun movie. I, I'd recommend it. As I say, it wasn't as great as what everyone was going on about. Like the Marvel sort of stuff that they were saying. But it's a good movie. And that, my friends, 10 minutes of nothing. 10 minutes of nothing of the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. So loads of stuff to talk about. I will just say... It's funny, it's stupid, and I love that sort of stuff. And that has been the One Up Gaming's episode 410 of 10 Minutes of Nothing for this week, featuring, well, talking about Deadpool and Wolverine. So please subscribe, like, share, bell icon, all that good stuff. And we will be back with the goodbyes in a couple of seconds.